guys and welcome back to my channel so I hope everyone is doing well and doing good I would do like a sequel to the video that I uploaded on my channel earlier on this year if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while or if you've been subscribed to my channel since January you would know that I uploaded a particular video and it was called never settle waiting for God's very best and if you haven't seen it I will link it down below so you guys can check it out and I thought I'll do a sequel to that because till this day I get so many emails so many heartfelt messages about that video and about how much it helped them and how much it encouraged them and I just found I just felt overwhelmed like it's amazing because to begin with I didn't want to upload that video like I was really skeptical like, I just you know what to do. I didn't know if I wanted to share my life and expose myself on the internet so I thought I'll share with you guys and um, things that I've learned from my breakup and how to sort of get over a breakup so if you guys are interested in seeing this video then please stay tuned oh you're allowed to cry i feel like people expect you to be strong they expect you to be that independent woman they expect you to not care however i personally feel like it's always good to have that morning stage like just cry your eyes out let it all out cry feel a bit but not for too long just let it all out like literally i feel like you should have that crying stage i had my crying stage <laughs> i had my cry i definitely had my crying stage like i cried a lot and i was super emotional but i feel like you're allowed to have that if anyone tells you oh just get over it i feel like that's really really insensitive now like i said have your crying stage but at least you have it don't cry for too long so once you've done that stop <laughs> stop it obviously we're all human and we will have our moments don't dwell on it surround yourself with positive people surround yourself with your friends surround yourself with people who are going to keep you happy go out do things that you love that will sort of keep you know the momentum going and it will help you as well not to think about it like if you keep yourself busy then you won't have time to think about it whereas if you're sitting at home doing nothing or you're sitting around obviously it's going to come into your mind or it's going to creep up into your mind and you don't want that so you, you want to keep yourself occupied and you want to keep yourself busy after you've had your crying stage after you've had your crying stage you're allowed to cry it's normal okay it's normal <laughs> but happiness doesn't come from being in a relationship if you feel like you need someone to be happy then you really really need to change your mindset and I, I kind of learned that the hard way as well I learned that you know happiness isn't about what's around you it's not about your surroundings or what you have it's really really not about that I was reading a book and it was called it's called the Christian atheist by Craig Rochelle and he said something and I was thinking oh my god like this is so true he was like think back to the time where you really really wanted an item and when you got it you were happy yeah you were really happy now looking back are you still as happy as you were when you got that item before does that make sense like I thought that was so deep like I thought it was really true like you, there's sometimes when you really really want something you get it but once you've got it it's gone like you've got it now so you're looking for something else and I feel like we always do that as well females tend to do that don't let your source of joy or your happiness be from a man it, it shouldn't be that way it's not from a man once you're with him, you're happy, of course, fine. You break up, you're no longer happy. You get with someone else, you're gonna be happy. Your happiness shouldn't fluctuate like that. Your happiness shouldn't be based upon your circumstances. It shouldn't be based on what's around you. Your source of joy should come from Christ, really and truly. Your source of joy should be from Christ. I always have to tell myself that I'm not gonna be sad today. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. People hear that all the time, but they don't actually take the time to actually take in what it says you will rejoice and be glad in this day people fail to realize that happiness is a choice it's a decision you have to decide to be happy despite my circumstance despite what's going on around me i'm going to be happy i choose joy i try to give you joy freely he gives you happiness so why not take it choose it there's no point in being sad for what reason you're alive you're breathing be happy <laughs> there's no point there's no reason for you to be sad over a guy especially you know In order to sort of move on, you have to completely let go. Now, I'm still dealing with that. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm going to be honest. But I feel like, you know, I'm getting there. So I was sort of sitting down and reflecting, thinking like, okay, so how do you completely get over it? And what sort of came to my mind was that, you know, you have to 
let go of um, being bitter. Being bitter, you can't be bitter. And in doing that, I sort of thought, okay, I need to reflect. He is not the main and only reason why, you know, we, we didn't work out. Because like I said, um, it was sort of like a mutual, you know, decision. Like we both kind of knew that, okay, this is not working at this moment in time so we're just gonna leave it so I just thought okay you know what I'm gonna reflect and looking back it wasn't just him it was me as well so try to sort of look back and see okay what did I do wrong what am I not gonna do the next time I'm in a relationship like what have I learned from you know my previous relationship and in sort of looking back I came to the conclusion <laughs> that I was extremely selfish. Now I didn't know at the time, but obviously because I, you know, decided to take a trip down memory lane, I kind of realized that I was quite selfish. Like being in a relationship, you have to realize that it's not just about you, it's about the other person. Like it's not, it shouldn't be self-serving if that makes sense. You guys should be together to help each other. It's not just being in a relationship because oh I like you and you like me or I love you and you love me. No, there's a bigger purpose to being in a relationship. Like there's a bigger purpose. There's something that you guys need to fulfill together. There's a reason why you guys are together and you need to sort of figure figure that out. And I felt like with me I was very me, me, me. Obviously I know that sounds really bad but I'm just sharing it with you guys. Yeah it was very me and at the time I didn't know that that's what I was doing but like I said looking back I can sort of realise okay girl you look incredibly selfish but like I said it's not about you it's about helping that person you know reach their full potential it's about helping that person you know achieve their goals it's about making that person a better person and of course it works both ways it's not just about you focusing on your man of course your man has to focus on you like I said it works both ways so it's not just about you so we need to sort of you know take that into consideration that when you're entering into a relationship are you ready to sort of commit yourself to that person are you willing to compromise on certain things and I'm talking about serious relationships relationships leading to marriage by the way not just any Kikihaga relationship sorry I'm talking about serious <laughs> relationships are you willing to compromise on certain things for that person that's some of the things that you guys should consider so that's sort of what I learned so I hope you guys found this video useful thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you in my next one